Howdy guys, um, just thought I'd do a bit of an update today and uh, throw together a few thoughts on the poll. Um, as I make reference to in this uh, video, um, the I've, I've been writing the poll now for 12 months, so um, you make as many jokes about writing the poll as you like for 12 months. Um, but yeah, it's been awesome bike, as and, and um, yeah, I'll just flick over into this uh, video and you can have a bit of a look. Um, don't mind my huffing and puffing. I was pushing up a bloody steep hill today in Cleveland, so um, yeah, enjoy. It's interesting to see how far my riding's come in the last year on this thing. So for those playing along at home, it was 12 months to the day that I've had my first ride on this on the pole, at Evo Link 158, um, from stock. Really, it's just the rear coil, other than things that are wearable, or wearing components, I guess. Um, so in terms of wearing components, chain, obviously, uh, now I've got a Shimano SLX derailleur on the back and I've probably got more riding out of that than I ever had the GX before it smashed or bent or whatever. Um, so that's been good. These Michelins, as I've said before, bloody love them. Um, the rear one, I thought it was gonna wear a lot quicker than what it has. Um, after the probably fifth ride, it was starting to show what I would classify decent wear compared to, say, a dual compound Maxxis. But the side knobs, which you really rely on for that cornering traction and off camber stuff, still holding on. Um, coil changed this bike completely for me, uh, being 98 kilo, fully packed. Just couldn't get the air shock to perform the way I wanted it to. Uh, probably up to 280 psi, I reckon, in the end. Um, not enough sag. Quite rough in terms of small bump, but needed to run that to stop it bottoming out. Add tokens and become choppy. Um, but yeah, chuck this on. And now I've got a progressive coil on there as well, one of the Cane Creek ones, and that's just finished it off, eh? Like, the 550 linear was great, and it performed really well. What I would classify as maybe typical bottom out for a coil, now that I've ridden one. So, a bit more frequently than air but not so much that I needed to go up to a 600 in the end. Um, but this 501 to 610, yeah, 501 to 610 progressive spring has just nailed it. So really supple off the top and then just a bit like the air has um, very good bottom out resistance. And it's still fun as well. Like, you can still get the pop and the play and that sort of stuff. Or if you run a bit more low speed rebound, it'll just hug the ground completely. Um, if there's such a thing, I have a bit of a mid ground for that as well. So I'm probably not the most poppy, poppy rider. Um, do like a bit of air, but that traction for racing and quick times is just mint. So yeah, ticking along on the bike computer at the moment at 32% incline. So she's bloody steep. Um, so steep that my GPS thinks I've stopped moving. So I need to get moving quicker. But yeah, 12 months on every other bike. 12 months on, I've been like, oh, maybe I could get this or this or change this to make it into a bike, really, that it probably wasn't. 
more that all mountain enduro style but this absolutely slays everything from from trail rides to well downhill races i've done a couple on and um it just it's just amazing very 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 quick and stable um so yeah love it not planning on changing anything else at this point in time because <clears throat> it's just so much fun and then as you know i've got the the hard tail for more of the true xc to light trail sort of rides um and that's very capable as well that how uh, that hard tail is taking it down twisted gum and an ewok and well, all the four course meal i guess so that's not not the most easiest of tracks but it handled it really well more the tires which i was sketching over a little bit but they held up too all right enough of me gas bag and i'm gonna i keep going here. I'm now at 38% incline. So this is thrilling. Hopefully I'd end soon, eh? Cheers.